We have live ground truth of what's going on at the surface in Sugarlock. This is live footage from meteorologist Brant Beckman, a grad student in the meteorology program at Mississippi State. You can see the snowflakes there uh, in front of us, headlights. Those are light snowflakes now. There's a lot of dry air at the surface, but every one of those flakes, as it falls, it adds more moisture to the low levels. So that makes, that kind of opens the gate for more flurries to fall. I want to uh, thank Brant Beckman for sending this footage again. This is live video from Sugarlock in southern Knoxby County. Here's where he is on Storm Track Doppler. You can see that Sugarlock right in the middle of your screen. There's some darker colors, heavier snow or at least more abundant snowfall coming in out of northern Kemper County. Again, every flake that falls opens the gate for more. And watch what's coming down the pike as we zoom out a little bit more, looking down toward Philadelphia, toward Newton, Mississippi. More of these darker blue colors coming out of Neshoba County, tracking up toward the Preston area. That's going to be heading up toward the Sugarlock area soon. So we're getting updates from Brent throughout the morning, live footage, and so all that information. Of course, he's going to be giving us road information as well, keeping you and your family safe if you're traveling down Highway 45 this morning south of the Golden Triangle. Temperatures in the low 30s here across the north, still in the low to mid 30s in Columbus, above freezing at the moment. What does that tell me? Well, as long as we're above freezing, it's going to be, it's going to be tough for us to get accumulations at the surface on the roads. However, Winter weather advisory is still in effect as bridges and overpasses could freeze over before we get below freezing in some of these spots. Now, snow showers accumulating snowfall, leading to some dangerous road conditions. This picture sent to us by Brant Beckman, a meteorology grad student at Mississippi State and former intern of ours. He sent us this picture. You can see the snow sticking on grass, probably about a half inch already. That's between Macon and uh, the Sugarlock area. and. It is still coming down. He's now sending us this live footage from Macon. Uh, again, this is meteorologist Brant Beckman. This is live out of Macon. That snow is still coming down. It'll be heavy at times and then it will slack off a little bit. It's coming down at about a half inch an hour, maybe up to an inch an hour. Here's a live look now at Storm Track Doppler. Another heavier batch now moving out of Mashulaville and areas east of Macon. And then as we look a little bit farther south and west, there is more to come. Winter weather advisories continue till noon. We'll have another update coming up. We've gotten reports from Brant down around the Macon area. The snow was sticking to some of the roadways, and we had vehicles fishtailing. So you want to use extra caution in Knoxby County. Those conditions working their way north. Here's a live look at Storm Track Doppler. If you look, you can see the darkest blues that is indicating the heaviest of the snowfall. The first round that went through Macon earlier when he was reporting those fishtailing conditions. You can see that there now over eastern Pickens County. So it's worked its way through Carrollton, Highway 17, Highway 14, Alabama Highway 17 and 14, and even Alabama 32 there could be pretty rough, and it's going to get worse along Highway 82 between the Mississippi and uh, Alabama State Line back toward Tuscaloosa. But another batch of heavier snow now working its way along Highway 14 between Macon and uh, Louisville. That, on top of what has already fallen, I wouldn't be surprised to see maybe about a little over an inch within the next hour or so on top of what we've already seen here shortly. Now a new update. Winter storm warnings have been updated for Winston and Knoxby County as now we are getting upwards of about a half inch to an inch an hour of snowfall. That also includes Leak and Madison County into central Mississippi. This is new information coming into the WTVA Severe Weather Authority. Still winter weather advisories and now those have even been expanded to Montgomery and Webster County. So now that includes you in Eupora and you in Kilmichael and Winona. If you're heading south, you're not going to run into better conditions. It gets worse. Winter storm warnings continue all the way down into Hattiesburg. Not as bad up here toward Monroe County and Grenada County, Calhoun, Chickasaw. Not a problem, but you can still see some flurries. We're also seeing, of course, winter storm warnings all the way up into the Atlanta metro. Of course, we're continuing to bring you the very latest. And the reason why more of these counties have been added, because this extra snow that you're seeing back here along and west of Interstate 55 back into the Delta, that's trying to push northeast. And what it's doing is adding more moisture to the atmosphere.